Uh, have you ever wondered why uh, people in some countries turn to Bitcoin when their local currency is struggling? Well, that's exactly what happened in Argentina, where the demand for Bitcoin recently hit a 20-month high due to the ongoing decline of their national currency, uh, the Argentine peso. Um, and On March 20th, Bloomberg reported that nearly 35,000 customers in Argentina purchased Bitcoin in the week ending March 10th, which is double the weekly average compared to 2023. The major factor for the increase of demand is the ongoing decline of the nation's currency. Over the past 12 months, the ARS value against the U.S. dollar has plummeted fourfold, dropping from 0 0.0049 U.S. dollars per ARS in March 2023 to 0 0.00012 U.S. dollars at the time of publication. However, it wasn't just lemon cash that witnessed a surge in demand. Other major exchanges in Argentina, such as Ripio and Bello, reported similar trends. Uh, according to the C of the digital wallet Bello, Manuel Bodroy, stablecoin purchases in Argentina declined from 70 to 60 percent as Bitcoin's recent price surge attracted more interest. Uh, Bello has seen volume in Bitcoin and Ether increase tenfold so far in 2024 compared to the same period last year. Uh, but interest in stable coins might still exist with Argentines possibly choosing not to use the well-known exchanges within the country for purchasing them. On February 12th, Crypto Moon reported that they're using black market exchanges known locally as Crypto Caves to buy USD stable coins in an effort to escape strict currency controls and the rising inflation of the ARS. Based on, despite the challenges the use of digital currency for specific transactions is slowly gaining traction within the country. In December 2023, Diana Mondino, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Trade and Worship, claimed that a decree aimed at economic reform and deregulation would allow the use of Bitcoin and other cryptos in the country under certain conditions. Following the ruling, a local landlord and a tenant in Rosario, the third most populated city in Argentina, seal the rental agreement where the latter would pay monthly rent and Bitcoin. Uh, so, you know, what does this all mean for the future of Bitcoin in Argentina? It's clear that the country's economic struggles have led to a surge in demand for digital currency, and it's likely that this trend will continue in the future. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, happy investing.